All right, so hopping in to another deck highlight, I was having an idea that move control is popular. And so, right, that means you can like clog a lane with, really. Um, that meaning like you can clog a lane with your, uh, like your opponent's cards to basically guarantee they have a full lane. So typically the way people are doing that is like you move them into your craven, you move them into your kingpin, right? Like, oh yeah, that's the obvious way of doing it. it. Makes sense. What I was thinking is why don't why don't we use this card? Right? Like, hey, if we can fill this, that's that's pretty good, right? And like, how hard are you gonna be to fill it on on my side? Can't be that hard. I don't really want a Negasong. That feels like a bad idea. Right? Like, it can't be that hard to fill it on my side. It's gonna be harder to get have our opponent to fill it, right? We have to bait him into it. But like move control, we can just move their cards there when we want to. So, you know, that's the that's the theory. Wind my hand. Man. The that was quite the huh. Fair enough. Um, we're probably moving a Venom with this, but you know, it's fine. Actually, we might not be moving a Venom because they probably want a Muramasa Venom, which means they probably do it. That's uh, incredible. Um, we have a lot of three drops. Uh, this will move Carnage or X-23, and I assume that they're playing a kill card middle. I guess it will pull Wolverine now as well. Um... They have priority. Hmm. The last card they played was Deathlock. I assume they're gonna Venom. So I kinda just want a Magneto left, pull everything in the Mojo lane. It might matter. Um, they have priority, uh, but they haven't destroyed a card in a while, which means they can only play one card. I don't know how much power they've really destroyed. I don't think it's that high. They've destroyed a large, a high quantity of cards, which is a concern. Two, three, this is three at least five so six probably i would guess they've destroyed six cards um so they probably can't play death and null huh well yeah that 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 works out for us so, okay, I just want to say the, the theory craft behind this was right. I mean, when you when you have this happen, it's hard to it's hard to win that lane, but you know, it's not bad. All right, hopping in to game number two. Uh, um, so the thing is. I like this play, but I don't necessarily... 
necessarily want it to die. I think I'm kind of worried about him just getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, our Miles is going to be one next turn. I probably should have saved the Nightcrawler move for turn four. But that's okay. Uh, we don't really want to move anything with players right now anyway, so... We'll have six energy next turn. I'm trying to wonder how much the white hot room even really benefits us. Like, especially with this board. Like, with the Jins and with this board. Like, how much does it really help? What they play there? Their Jin? They just killed it? Apocalypse. Oh, we have priority, which is good. Uh, we'll do this, this. Uh, we'll pull the blade middle, give him minus two. Get closer to filling our mojo, our mojo dojo. Mojo Jojo. What is that from? Some like cartoon, isn't it? I can't remember. I might have just unlocked a core memory for some people, but for me, I'm just more confused than I was before. Um, and we have some good pulls left, honestly. The issue is we can't really afford to have their cards move into Death Domain. So if they got a meek, we gotta be kind of precarious with what we're doing. If we hit the Modoc here, that'd be kind of insane. If that's, if that's their Modog, that's actually so huge for us that we did that. It is their Modog. That's a lot of power they, lo they lose out on. Like they... I would imagine that they need that power to work. They have two swarms and an apocalypse. But they aren't going to play out the apocalypse. Um. I don't really know what I want to do. Like, we could... I don't think we win middle. I don't, like... Does 18 power win middle? How many times was... It was discarded two times, so three times. So they added 12, so if we get 20... If we get 22, we can add... What did I just say? 18? So we'll be at... I guess that works. We'll be at 28. No, they'll be at 32. They'll be at 32. Oh dear God, that does not work. We'll just do that. I don't really want to play another card. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to push. <laughs> I didn't want to push a card in the Nightcrawler. I guess we could have. We could have played Juggernaut. Like, it's not like it would have mattered. Um, Victory. Like, what's three power to 30? I'm so glad that I'm bad at math. Like, that was incredibly bad math. That almost cost me the game. But, that's eh, okay. I'm just off my game recently. We're getting there.
Are you hopping into game one of them? We put Craven wherever they play card and profit. Mother fricker. And I'll do it anyway. Um, do this, do this, do this. Or uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Gives us the option to Nightcrawler into the Craven or just Nightcrawler and back into the Bifrost. Oh, you're one of those people. Um, I think I just want to Spider-Man move this card. Uh, yeah, I pretty much just don't want them to be able to play into Wong, like, ever. Kind of the goal. Crystal's funny. <laughs> That's somehow funnier, honestly. I mean, I don't need to Magneto. Like, just doing this is enough, I think. Because this pulls the magic into Wong. And then my Craven's gonna gain approximately, okay. Yeah, and then I can I can Magneto into this lane next turn. Or I could Magneto into this lane, honestly. I don't hate Magneto into this lane, honestly. That could be such a good play. See, but this lane clogs. And that, I think, is so much more valuable. But they could just discard it and move it all. And move the Meek and then be able to play into it. Um, so, I mean, they're both flawed in their own ways. So, I'll do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I'll probably... Stegron left. Negasonic left. Probably. Hope he wasn't trying to play into a Wong. What a... What a silly little guy he was trying to play into Wong. Ooh, that's not the card you wanted to hit either. Um. Oh. Yeah, we just, <laughs> we just do that. I'm the monster. I'm the villain. I'll play the cheesy, corny garbage, and I'll do it really well, and it's cool because I'm doing it instead of the enemy. I just want to try and get Mojo to pop off, honestly. I was thinking, I was like, what card do I never use? And I was like, I don't play Mojo ever. And I felt like this deck was a good fit for Mojo. I've activated him one time. I, I you know, it was, it was close to activating him there. I wouldn't have activated him there because it wouldn't have helped me. But Hopping into game, I, I literally just looked and I already forgot. I, I literally looked to see how many games I've played and then just completely forgot two seconds later. Uh... After you play your next card, it becomes a demon. I don't really think I want my card to be a demon. I'll be the one to say it. Yeah, okay, so Dom is like convinced that Nico is on a set rotation. I think this proves that that's not the case since we have different Nico abilities. Um. I mean, I guess we can do this and then like push Polaris into a uh, danger room. Should be good. Yeah, it won't really do anything. Mm. I mean, maybe we just waste the ability, honestly. Like, I didn't really care that much with the Nico ability. But 
but I want to play her something in the kingpin because it's funnier. Did I say something? Because I meant to say specifically that carnage. I want to I wanna pull that carnage. Um. Yeah. And then we should be able to like Juggernaut Mojo. I don't love that, but I don't hate it either. I think that saving... Uh, well, so we're not polarizing anything. I feel like they play in the danger room. I don't know why, but that's what my gut tells me. My gut tells me they don't care about Isle of Science. They want to play in the danger room. Right, like you have Deadpool in hand. You have, I feel like you play in the danger room. That's, 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 that's something. I don't have priority. Um, is there a, a world that this wins? Like to either side even? I don't really think so. Uh, I mean, it's just unlucky. They, they played their death so early. I wasn't really expecting them to play death that early. I'm going to assume by how much they're contemplating that they don't have null in hand. Um, so it's pretty much like them just playing like Deadpool out. Escaped. The Deadpool and like probably like a Deathlock or a Killmonger or something. Alright. <clears throat> Hopping into game... Five? God, I literally just looked again. I'm so stupid. Nightcrawler, Kingpin, Polaris. Is there anything more you could possibly want in life? So I kind of think it would be funny to like Kingpin not in the Nexus and then just like Every time they try and play a card in the Nexus, you pull it out of the Nexus. I think it'd be funny. Oh. Mojo's also good with Kingpin now that I'm saying that, because like they're gonna play their cards into Kingpin, and like that's I'll take my chances. Moving into Nexus. Dude, if that moves into Nexus, I'd be so happy. Move Negasonic into Nexus. Move Negasonic into Nexus. Move Negasonic. Let's go! I feel like that's kind of a waste. What do I know, I guess? Ugh! That breaks my heart! What is this? What is this? What are they running? Is this bound? Why is there a mystique? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do I even want to play the hood out? Do I want a demon that bad? I don't even know. Like, what is this mystique? Uh. Okay, so <clears throat> we're juggernauting middle, which, you know, 
That could work. We need to pull Craven in order to play a card with Juggernaut. Um, which, you know... Meh. Holy crap, that's insane. That emote that he has. Um, yeah, that Loki just absolutely railed me, huh? Like, that's so incredibly bad. <laughs> it gave me three completely garbage cards from our opponent. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do with Havoc, Hood, and Mystique? Hopping into the last game. Didn't mess it up this time. Uh, do I want Craven or Kingpin more? I mean, I guess we get both now, huh? I guess we Kingpin here, Craven here, and then we use Avengers Compound to bully people into one of them. Probably what we do. <clears throat> Actually, we have a we have a kind of good curve here because we can Negasonic here on four uh, which means if they play like a MODOK or something they just get absolutely flamed and like they like right that's that's where they want to play like on five they'd want to play MODOK so if we play Negasonic there on four it will be really good and then we can Spoderman a collector somewhere yeah so we just do that and then we We play Spider-Man next turn. We can like Mojo left, Spider-Man left. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, Polaris would be pretty good. Yeah, so I imagine we're killing a Modoc here. Uh, we have Arrow Miles next turn, which is just a lot of power. I kind of want to pull Collector Middle. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. I, that's what I said, is I really want to pull <laughs> Collector into Kraven. Um, that would be super cool. Uh... Move the last enemy card played. I don't know if that works. Um, what if we do this, this, this? Like, I don't hate that. Go middle. Damn it. Three rows can't play high. So yeah, I think we win, right? I don't think meat gets that big. Oh my god, Meek would have won. If they if Meek went right, that that would have won them the game. Uh, which means it was a good thing that uh, we. Uh, it's a good thing Modok went left, actually. Huh. Well, I'll be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, letting me know, and subscribe for future deck highlights. There will be a 
uh, deck analysis breakdown at the end. So stay tuned. Yeah, so the deck is, I'm calling it move controls at twist. It has just the general move control garbage. The key difference here is I have Mojo in it. Uh, Mojo has the ongoing, if both sides here are full, it gets plus six power, making it a two eight, which makes it the best in class two drop. Uh, I pair that with Craven and Kingpin. And basically if we move any card into like, if we set these up in three different lanes, Anywhere we move a card, we can get benefits from. So what we do is then pair with a lot of, we're moving our opponent's cards around in Juggernaut, Polaris, Spider-Man, Stagron, Arrow, and Magneto. Uh, and then we have Miles Morales, which becomes a 1-5 when a card moves. And as we just stated, we have six cards that move cards. And then we have Nightcrawler, which can move on command, meaning that we can get a 1-5 Miles Morales on the next turn whenever we need it. So if like on turn five, uh, we were able to play Stagron and Miles Morales, we would move Nightcrawler on four to ensure that if we already had him down. Uh, and the final one is Negasonic. Negasonic is just a generically annoying card. Like <laughs> there's no way around it. It is basically baby Eliath. Uh, is a way of thinking about it. It's a, half the cost of Eliath with the same stat line and does the same effect basically. The only difference is the on reveal still triggers for that card. Um, there's a card that does that in the game. It was... It was bad. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's Gladiator. It's a similar effect to Gladiator. Um, just it's a guaranteed kill instead of a maybe kill that Gladiator is. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. It's pretty simple. You just want to make sure that you are able to move cards to a lane that you can guarantee a win. So yeah, it's not too complex. Obviously it has bad matchups into move decks, but otherwise it's pretty good. Uh, so that's all for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you.